The Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act of 2010 or RA 10121 is an act that provides for the development of policies and plans and the implementation of actions and measures pertaining to all aspects of disaster risk reduction and management. This includes good governance, risk assessment, and early warning, knowledge building, and awareness raising in order to reduce the underlying risk factors and increase the preparedness for effective response and early recovery. This act shifted the policy environment and the way the country deals with disasters from mere response to preparedness. RA10121 provided for a comprehensive, all-hazard, multi-sectoral, interagency, and community-based approach to disaster risk management through the formulation of the National Disaster Risk Management Framework. The law promotes the development of capacities in disaster management at the individual, organizational, and institutional levels. A very important feature of this law is its call for the mainstreaming of disaster risk reduction in physical and land use planning, budget, infrastructure, education, health, environment, and other sectors. Likewise, under this law, a National Disaster Risk Management Plan was formulated, developed, and implemented as the master plan where a coherent, integral, efficient, and responsive disaster management at all levels will hopefully be achieved. It also recognizes local risk patterns and trends and decentralization of resources and responsibilities and thus encourages the participation of NGOs, private sectors, community-based organizations, and community members in disaster management. RA10121 also provides for the Calamity Fund to be used in support of disaster risk reduction or mitigation, prevention, and preparedness activities for the potential occurrence of disasters and not just for response, relief, and rehabilitation efforts. For the definition of terms, please refer to Section 3 of this Act. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council shall be headed by the Secretary of the Department of National Defense as Chairperson with the Secretary of the Department of the Interior and Local Government as Vice Chairperson. For Disaster Preparedness, the Secretary of the Department of Social Welfare and Development as Vice Chairperson for Disaster Response, the Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology as Vice Chairperson for Disaster Prevention and Mitigation and the Director General of the National Economic and Development Authority as Vice Chairperson for Disaster Rehabilitation and Recovery. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council ensures a multi-stakeholder participation in the development, updating and sharing of a disaster risk reduction and management information system and geographical information system based. National Risk Map as policy, planning and decision-making tools and develops appropriate risk transfer mechanisms that shall guarantee social and economic protection and increase resiliency in the face of disaster. The Office of Civil Defense shall have the primary mission of administering a comprehensive national civil defense and disaster risk reduction and management program by providing leadership in the continuous development of strategic and systematic approaches as well as measures to reduce the vulnerabilities and risks to hazards and manage the consequences of disasters. The Office of Civil Defense advises the National Council on matters relating to disaster risk reduction and management. Consistent with the risks to hazards and manage the consequences of disasters and identifies, assesses and prioritizes hazards and risks in consultation with key stakeholders. The Regional Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council shall be responsible in ensuring disaster-sensitive regional development plans and in case of emergencies shall convene the different regional line agencies and concerned institutions and authorities. The local DRRM councils are found at the provincial, city, and municipal levels. The Barangay Development Council BDC, shall assume the powers and functions of the council at the barangay level. The LDRRMC is composed of multi-sectoral and multi-agency members. LDRRMCs oversee the implementation of the local DRRM plans formulated by local DRRM offices.
Integration of Disaster Risk Reduction Education into the School Curricula and Sangguniang Kabatan SK, Program and Mandatory Training for the Public Sector Employees, the DEP, the CHED, the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority TESDA, in coordination with the OCD, the National Youth Commission NYC, the DUST, the DENR, the DILG BFP, the DOE, the DSWD and other relevant agencies, shall integrate disaster risk reduction and management education in the school curricula of secondary and tertiary level of education, including the National Service Training Program NSTP, whether private or public, including formal and non-formal, technical vocational, indigenous learning, and out-of-school youth courses and program. The local DRRM councils are found at the provincial, city, and municipal levels. The Barangay Development Council BDC, shall assume the powers and functions of the council at the barangay level. The LDRRMC is composed of multi-sectoral and multi-agency members. LDRRMCs oversee the implementation of the local DRRM plans formulated by local DRRM offices Local DRRM offices sets the direction, development, implementation and coordination of DRRM programs and activities within their territorial jurisdictions. The LDRRMOs are established in every province, city and municipality PDRRMO, CDRRMO and MDRRMO. Remedial Measures The declaration of a state of calamity shall make mandatory the immediate undertaking of the following remedial measures by the member agencies concerned. Under the Price Act, the President, upon the recommendation of implementing agencies, may impose price ceiling on basic necessities and prime commodities. This is then monitored by the Local Price Coordination Council. The programming and reprogramming of funds for the repair and safety of public infrastructures and facilities and granting of no interest loans by government financing or lending institutions to the most affected section of the population through cooperatives and people's organizations. Prohibited Acts 